We're now at the halfway mark of the UEFA Youth League. How much of yourself and the players learned from coming up against some top academies in Europe? Yeah, a lot. A lot. Uh, I think back to the match day one against Real Madrid and it, I suppose the unknown. Um, the players hadn't played at that level before. Uh, the whole build up to it was obviously fantastic. Um, but then you land in the game and um, I think the players coming out of the back of it, albeit the game didn't go the way we wanted it in terms of performance or result, myself and Mick were pretty content that this is where we wanted to be, this is where we want the players to be and it was getting the players to understand is this where they're meant to be. Um, so albeit the result didn't go well, we learned a lot and I think you've seen then coming into the next game against Shakhtar, the, the market improvement in performance. So. Um, They've slowly grown into it, and, and that's a, a pleasing thing for us. Being in the game last Wednesday, you made an excellent start, and the boys were on the front foot, right? off across the back, they were impressive and took their chances early on. How crucial is that quick and positive start in games like this? Is it something you'll always impose in training? Yeah, we've spoken a lot about it, about the intensity of the game staying at a level we wanted at, regardless of scoreline. Um, the, we looked um, recently, statistically, we've scored um, the majority of our goals in the last 15 minutes of games. So that shows the, the energy levels of the players are staying high and we're scoring late on in games. But we're trying to match that now with early on in games. Can we start uh, fast? And I think that's something we've, we've slowly grown into. Um, the start of the game against Leipzig was fantastic. Players, we asked them to be really aggressive early on. The first moment of the game from kickoff is fantastic. It's exactly what we'd, we'd plan to do. We go forward, we try to make every action a positive one early on, and we end up a corner within 20 seconds of the game that we score off of. And then the most important thing was then after that, that we stayed on that front foot and went after the second and third. And if it hadn't been for a penalty miss, we'd have been three nil up after 12 minutes. Um, but listen, that's that's what we want from the players at all times for for every minute of the game to push the intensity to play it at our speed and and certainly in Leipzig they did that. In the next few games we'll see you play Leipzig, Fulham and Shakhtar Donetsk. How excited are the players and yourself to be taking part in these sort of fixtures alongside the Lone League? Yeah, it's massive. It's massive. We were obviously a part of the Lone League last year and it's a, a fantastic uh, competition for us to be involved in. The volume of games and, and um, the physical nature of the competition we play against is brilliant for the players' development, but there's no getting away from it this year. The the recipe of having elite level games at their own age group and, and going into the against Fulham will even be an age group above um, is pivotal. You need these level of games. And you see the players under the maximum level of stress as well. Um, so the mentality that we're trying to build into the players that is required to play in our first team, um, you see it, you see it. Everything gets exposed in these games. And... I'm glad to say when things are getting exposed, we're we've been pleasantly surprised by the players. So fingers crossed we can get another positive performance tomorrow um, and and kick on from there. Hi Dan, I was just wondering what it's like to make that step from the Lowland League to the UEFA Youth League each week, and how do you prepare to go between the two levels? Um, we tried to prepare the exact same way for every game. Um, so. Day one of pre-season, when we came in here, we, we laid a marker down that there was a, a certain way we were going to play, a certain way we were going to train, regardless of opposition. I've said regardless of context in a game, we were going to approach every minute of every game and every day the same way. And hopefully that consistency with the players um, brings, brings a level of performance that will see us not only win games, that's not the nowhere near the most important thing, the players perform individually. Um, so in all honesty, we don't prepare any differently. We we approach every match the same. Now, um, obviously, the the differences of games is is vast. And we played obviously on Saturday against Trenent, and the ball is is in the air a lot. You're having to defend your box a lot. You're having to withstand pressure. I suppose you're having to resist the the styles of play. It's two completely different styles of play coming head to head, and we're having to to wrestle the game and, and play it as much as we can in our style. And likewise, the Trinent, they're trying to do the opposite and, and play it in theirs. So, I think when you come up against uh, the youth league teams in Leipzig, Shakhtar, Real, I wouldn't say our styles are similar, but they're they're two teams that will look to to play and and you find rhythm in the game a lot more. I think you see a lot more kind of pattern and and understanding. So both team, it's probably easier to set up for the youth league, believe it or not. Um, but as I said, we'll prepare 
for every game as, it's, as if it's the most important. So obviously tomorrow night against Leipzig um, is the most important game now for us and, and hopefully we can we can continue on with the good performances we've had. We saw how effective a fast start was last week. Do you think it will be important to have a fast start again tomorrow to, to secure a win? Um, a fast, fast start in every game. We want, as I said, we want to start every game fast, and it's not about the start being important. It's the whole game. It's the start is 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 important to set a, a, an intensity and a tempo that we want to withstand for the whole game. Um, and as I've said, regardless of scoreline, so we've we've been in front in games, and we'll ask the same of the players that they, they still go after our next goal and and look to take the game to the opposition to keep the tempo high. Um, to to get the ball back in play as much as possible, as quickly as possible, and likewise we've been behind in games this year, and naturally then there is an intensity to chase the game. But we we want to approach every minute like it's important. And listen, we're in development football, so every minute for these players is vital. We could be two 0 up away to Leipzig and and try shut up shop. It's a waste of time. The players are there to develop to to develop into Celtic players, and if if the kind of things that we talk about in the training pitch, if we can't if we can't handle that when we go into a youth league, when we're 2 nil up, and there is, of course, you feel pressure as a footballer, that's normal. But if we can't stick to our principles, then then we're not we're selling ourselves short. So that was the most pleasing thing in Leipzig. We we performed really well in the first part of the game. Naturally, they came into it more in the second half. We had to see out a bit of pressure, but late on in the game, I felt like we were the team that might score. Um, I felt really comfortable because the players showed such, such composure. They were still trying to find the third goal. And that's when you know the messages you're giving them. Myself and Stephen are starting to bed in. They're under the maximum amount of stress. They want to win. We want them to feel that pressure. But it's how they handle it, and they handled it very well. So fingers crossed we can keep doing that. Uh, as an early question was, was saying, that's halfway through the group now. And as you were mentioning yourself, obviously this is development football. Going into the second like round of fixtures, how much more confident uh, is is yourself in the group versus you know the first kind of uh, raft of fixtures? Uh, there's two parts to it. Me and Stephen are no more confident. We knew what we had. We knew what the players were capable of. Um, but I would suggest the players are now more confident. They've tasted and sampled this level of football. As I said, they they kind of got a. I wouldn't say a shock to the system against Real, but things happened in the game. They got punished for, I spoke at the time, small errors, but they got punished heavily for it. Um, and they've learned from that and they've realised that not only can they be competitive, they can actually, they can excel at this level. And I, f- I felt in Shakhtar, it was a real pivotal moment in our season. I thought we were exceptional in Shakhtar. We should have won the game. Myself and Stephen don't need that result to verify performance. We judge the players every day off performance and we knew the performance was of a really high level in Shakhtar. But I think players naturally need that result. They need that win, if you like. And, and we want that for them. Listen, to be at this club at this level, you're going to need to be competitive. So them having the, the them verifying whether they're doing well or not through wins, I'm, we're absolutely fine with that. As coaches, we don't do that. And we knew after Shakhtar, we'd, we'd hit a level of performance that if we... If we maintained, we'd we'd uh, we'd win plenty of games. But listen, the whole the whole pleasing thing over the last two games in particular is if me and Stephen were to go to the game as as neutrals, you would pick out Celtic individuals as the best players in the pitch. That is the biggest thing by a country mile in all of this that we get individuals performing. The style, the the culture, the system, the alignment into the first team is all for the purpose of letting individuals stand out. And in the last two games, we've had a number of individuals, and fingers crossed that's the case going forward. Like for, for yourself and Stephen, obviously, I don't know if you would have played your Champions League, but yourselves come through the Celtic Youth Academy and obviously got European experience quite early in your career. For the guys that you guys are, are coaching at the moment, as you said in the last couple of games, they've probably got the rub of the green and feel, feel a bit more confident, you know, like going toe to toe with these teams. What? Your team consistency, your team selection has been really consistent all the way through the group. Do you think that's been a major part in the players' progression through the tournament that you've stayed consistent with the best eleven where you can? Um, we don't have a big squad. We don't have a big squad, um, and that's uh, sort of by design. We don't want to carry at at a, a level like this. We want quality and and players we believe have opportunity or say opportunity have the the ability to one day develop and play in our first team. And that's not easy to find, to find players that are 
at an age that can play at this level but have the potential to play in our first team they're difficult to find believe me um so we don't have a big squad so the consistency is is largely down to the numbers we have um but the ones we do have we value massively and and they have performed to a high level um so i don't think the we haven't picked the same squad or the same team to gain that consistency as i said we're not myself and Stephen, it's very very we don't speak to the players too much about it, but we're not too concerned on on the results and how far we go in the competition it's about how we perform and most importantly how individuals perform if we come out of the back of these six games and the manager is impressed with two or three players that's our job um so of course as a as a coaching staff and when you're involved in the game you get caught up in it and we we want to win just as much as the players but when we walk away the most important things is we can turn around and say we we looked ourselves we performed the way we wanted to and individuals stood out and as i said uh, particularly in the last two games we've had that so against Shakhtar me and Stephen were delighted we were delighted because we'd individuals stand out the team had done well we just didn't get that uh, result against Leipzig we got all three points so from the players point of view that was great but as i said the main thing for us is that we keep performing to a high level and individuals stand out